Hey everyone, we'll hear from uh, Sim Worker Finds for May 12th, uh, 2021. Uh, got a ton of stuff to show you. I haven't really been uh, I've been lacking in my uh, video making the past uh, the past month or so. Um, but I uh, got some really cool stuff to show you. Been mainly concentrating on the house, getting it ready for uh, uh, the other house, getting it ready for uh, Airbnb uh, rental. So far, we're on track to get it up uh, by July 1st. Um, still a lot to do, but, uh, uh, you know, it still doesn't stop me from getting stuff for, uh, for eBay. So, uh, uh, got some cool stuff. Let me show you what I got. Uh, picked up a cowboy hat for uh, $8. Carol's Western Wear. Um, I guess it's a girl's hat. MHT Westerns. Um, had the box, only eight bucks. Took a chance on it. Uh, the deer head's pretty cool. He's a 12 pointer. Uh, and paid 150 for him. Currently have him listed on eBay for uh, $500. Uh, no takers uh, uh, as of yet. Um, a piece of Le Creuset, probably saying that wrong, but uh, it's definitely seen better days. But uh, sometimes the right color can make a big difference on this stuff. Uh, paid ten dollars for that, so the price was right. Uh, in that kind of condition, I really don't know with that color. Uh, I see other ones go for anywhere from 75 on up to like $300. Um, so it's, I really don't have any idea uh, how to price that one. Uh, collection of uh, lampshades, ceiling uh, light shade shades. A uh, guy was uh, rehabbing a house in uh, Baltimore City, and uh, these are what he uh, he took out. Really cool. I think it came to he wanted uh, three a piece for those. It came to like twenty some twenty three dollars, and uh, he took uh, twenty for him. Just uh, you just can't find stuff like this if you're. Uh, uh, restoring an old house, uh, you want original hardware, and uh, this stuff is just so hard to find. So, we'll list those individually. Um, looks like those don't exactly go together, so probably list those individually too. Uh, love the uh, one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it's going to go in my own collection. It's a uh, 40 millimeter uh, shell. Uh, I believe this is the red means it's tracer, the yellow means it's incendiary. I think the the blue here um, means it's a self-destruct round, which means that the uh, the tracer burns all the way up into the incendiary part and just basically uh, uh, the shell blows up, which is uh, probably a good thing because if you miss your target, this thing could travel for a very long way. Uh, maybe uh, they use these on the, uh, the Bofors guns on, uh, during World War II, and you can see this has a manufacture date of... Uh, February 1942 and uh, there's the anchor with US I'm having a hard time getting it focused here Mark 1 Model 1 40 millimeter uh, it's been deactivated I wish they wouldn't have drilled the holes in the side but uh, Really cool piece. The, the markings on the uh, on the tip um, is what makes it great display piece. And you can kind of, if you shake it around, you can hear something rattling around inside there. <laughs> I guess it's safe.
been safe since 1942. A uh, little Smurf guy lined him up and uh, let him go. He was uh, two bucks on that. Uh, love little candlestick holder, all handmade. You can see how it's been hammered out of a uh, out of copper. Um, and the flower design, really cool piece. Somebody bought this at a antique store years ago uh, for twenty-seven fifty. I paid five bucks. Couple of uh, Preakness uh, patches. Uh, they were uh, two a piece. Got some knives, uh, nothing really that great. Well, they'd be great if they were in better shape, but uh, got a Shrade, got a uh, buck knife that somebody broke the tip off. Uh, really neat little cheese knife. Uh, and a uh, old timer for uh, $4. It's been around. It's an old timer. Uh, love the reel. This is a uh, <laughs> um, guy had 50 on it, and I lowballed him and offered him 30, thinking he was going to counter 40 or 45, but he came back at 35 and uh, got it for 35. Really, really good reel. It's a uh, Penn Senator. Um, what is it? Penn Senator. Uh, 12 aught. Uh, missing some finish, but uh, which is too bad because this reel end brings hundreds of dollars if it uh, in better shape. But uh, um, still should get uh, hopefully over a hundred dollars for that. Uh, whole box of uh, buttons. What? really re really attracted me to this uh, box was this it's a data plate off of a uh, some Japanese um, I have no idea what it went to um, I guess uh, if anybody could translate that uh, let me know I'd be very curious there's some other buttons in here that's uh, um, kind of cool Army buttons. Uh, here's a uh, here's a navy button. Um, that was like uh, five bucks for everything there. Uh, Follies, Berger. Um, some really cool ads. The brandy of Napoleon. It's neat because they put uh, like the wax paper um, in between here. Gotta be careful, can't show you everything. But uh, here's the uh, champagne. And uh, here's uh, uh, FTD. Ed. Uh, so it was funny, my wife asked me, What'd you buy that for? I said, I bought it for the ads. But uh, cool book. I'm not going to take the ads out. I'll sell them, uh, sell the whole thing as it is. A uh, couple chocolate molds. This one's nice and heavy. Um, they were uh, 50 cents a piece. Can't go wrong there. Tabasco sauce. Uh, chef apron for three dollars. A uh, bunch of uh, fireman's books. Uh, these were five a piece. I love buying these books that have limited runs. Um, they normally make just a few hundred of them, and that's it. So uh, years from now, yeah, years after they're made, there's always somebody who wants to come along and get a book, uh, complete their collection, or start up a collection, and they can't find them anywhere because uh, not too much quantity. So uh, they should do well. Uh, Speaking of things that won't do well, is <laughs> two fake Rolexes, which I paid uh, 50, 55 for the pair of them. Uh, I know, 
I, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a real Rolex at a flea market. Uh, and I realized these probably were fake. Um, you know, I was like 95% sure, but it's that little 5% that just nagged at me. What put it over top was these uh, stickers from Alex Cooper Auctions. It's an auction house, local auction house. Uh, so I kind of thought, is Alex Cooper going to sell reproduction uh, Rolexes? It didn't really seem like they would. Well, apparently they do. Uh, because these are fake. Nice fakes, but still fake. Yeah, I figure... At 55, even at that price, it's probably worth it uh, for somebody to uh, to buy a fake. Can't sell them on eBay, but uh, um, I don't think I'm going to lose any money. Not going to make any either. Love the uh, ice cream scoop with the little uh, turn the little thing to uh, get it out of the scoop. Uh, that was five bucks. Uh, uh, Don. Dom pairing on ashtray. Um, that was a uh, 12. Cool piece. Westinghouse Atomic Power money clip. Uh, that was like three bucks. Love the uh, pure Irish, pure fresh cream. And it was coated in paint. And I've been trying to, you see, it just, it just comes right off. So we clean it up a little bit. That's a great looking piece. Uh, that was that was 15 or 20. I can't remember. A uh, Gobel bunny. See the uh, the V with the B. Uh, a couple of uh, Bowie ashtrays. They were um, 10 a piece. Uh, actually, should bring around 40 or 50 dollars a piece for those. Set of chopsticks and holders. Uh, that was uh, eight dollars for the set. Chopsticks always sell well for me. Really surprising. Um, believe it or not, this is probably the most expensive piece I'm going to show you today. <laughs> and uh, I never knew this when I bought it. I thought it was the guy I bought it from thought it was for like uh, to put pencils in <laughs> or pens uh, and I just thought well it's neat it's got some age well uh, this spins around and it's marked on the top uh, Hyde Windless Company uh, Bath Main and I thought okay uh, it was 25 bucks, and uh, I thought, well, you know, it, maybe I'll get 50, 60, 75 for it. But then I looked it up on Worth Point, and salesman sam sample sold for um, 800 and fifty dollars now that one is the paint is a little bit more vibrant there so then we go down here's another one and this is more in line with what I got that one sold for 509 back September 20th of last year now this one's missing a lot of paint and that sold for 400 and a couple others. That was ten years ago. That went for three fifty. This was uh, seven years ago. And that went for three sixteen. So I think I'm gonna put like six or seven hundred on this little guy, or best offer, and uh, see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I never would have guessed. Still not sure what it is. I think it's some kind of ship part. But uh, very cool. Definitely going to wrap that up in uh, bubble wrap when I'm done. Um, Brighton bag. Uh, that was like uh, three bucks. Uh, fireman's hat. 
got this for like uh, 20 bucks. It's a shame that somebody took a can of uh, spray paint and sprayed over the brass. Uh, it's still a neat piece. Well, the, uh, I think this is a cutting board. Um, stamped. Uh, handmade olive wood. Nisaki Carti. Uh, a piece of wood. Uh, that was like uh, four bucks. Love the light. It needs a ton of work. It's a part of me that wants to uh, rewire this. Put the uh, put the switch here. Get a nice little globe for it, but I'm just not that attracted to it. It's just uh, I think I'll let somebody else do that. But uh, it was six bucks. Uh, Laura Geller, eight piece color collection, uh, brand new. Um, eight bucks on that couple uh, longer burger baskets uh, that was like uh, five and four Raven's tie was like two bucks a uh, Russian wooden egg signed that was uh, four dollars snow angel philosophy that was like five bucks my wife got a set of uh, uh, little wall pockets uh, they were like that was like uh, six bucks for everything Thousand Wishes, uh, three, six, nine a piece. Three a piece, I mean. Uh, Harley Davidson boots, uh, they were like uh, 10 bucks for, for those. Seven on the uh, little clutch, and 10 on the uh, Harley bag. Love the uh, painting, it's definitely got some age to it. Signed, which is always a good thing, Helen F. Williams. Of a, uh, I want to call it a Scotty dog, uh, some kind of terrier. Um, but uh, not too bad. Love the way she did the uh, the uh, fur and uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'll put on it. Um, some stuff for the house. Uh, it was five dollars, like a dollar a piece for these, and a little welcome sign was like uh, three dollars for the uh, Airbnb, and also for the Airbnb, uh, five like chandelier had twenty five on it, got it for twenty. Uh, the original price was uh, one hundred forty nine, so uh, I'll be putting that up in the Airbnb. So keep an eye on my uh, store, Terminal ninety nine, which is where a lot of this stuff will be appearing, and uh, got the. Uh, this is all jewelry for the most part. That'll be uh, coming up in the next video. So until next time, this is Will Yard Sales Survivalist. We'll talk again soon.